Because of my interest in the working waterfront and, and actually environmental issue, the environmental issue of today, I think, other than the degradation of, of our environment, one of the biggest issues is sustainability of our, of our culture and our resources. I'm keenly aware of the um, st struggle that the American fisherman is going through, through uh, limited fishing uh, capabilities because of regulations, but mostly because of foreign uh, mariculture products that are that are much cheaper and so years ago uh, about in 2006 my wife Helena and I uh, created an initiative that we call a support American fishermen and with that we had an exhibition at her gallery and we pledged a percentage of sales of the paintings. They were all paintings of the working waterfront, and guys hauling uh, swordfish off of a swordfish boat and crabbers and lobstermen and uh, shrimpers, etc. And from that show, we generated several thousand dollars that I gave to the South Carolina Seafood Alliance, which is their uh, marketing and, and promotional arm for the local fishermen here in Charleston. And it was very interesting when I presented the check to the board, a room full of these grown, burly, rugged men, uh, there wasn't a dry eye in the in the room and they said you know nobody's ever given nobody's ever given us anything so it was very rewarding so along with things like that initiatives like that uh, one one fulfills a greater need than just painting pictures show you a painting that, that started the whole idea of support American fishermen. I went down to Shem Creek to the Magwood Seafood and although I'd seen it many 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 times before it just struck me and I had to paint it and the, the uh, building is festooned with, with all these red and white signs and Loads, uh, slogans and stuff and basically they have support American fishermen with flags and stars and stripes painted on the side of the building and that uh, planted the seed which germinated into the initiative that Helena and I started to uh, bring awareness to the plight of the fishermen so support American fishermen the painting shows uh, the, the Magwood building, which is now completely changed. They put in a dry stack storage and cleaned up the place, although they're still fishing out of there. The painting is another of the working waterfront that will tell the story of the culture of fishing.
Botany Bay Plantation, Edisto Island. The ocean's just behind us. You might hear it roar. And I'm looking for another place to paint uh, so I can set up before the sun starts getting down too much. So I've been walking along this marsh edge. I usually find a lot of good material in here. It's also where the, where the diamondback rattlers like to live right along in this grass, along the edge. Let's go see if we can find one. I want to read something about going out to paint to do a landscape. It was one of those perfect mornings, cool temperatures when the tide reached the shore and clear skies well past the horizon. The tide was rising when I struck out for one of the few Palmetto Bluff shorelines that I have not explored. Watch for the diamondbacks, I thought to myself, as I trudged through the mud and Spartina grass. The interesting shapes of the land kept getting better, and I made notes of compositions for later. I had planned for high water in the marsh and kept looking for an imaginary perfect spot this place where I set up to paint was one of the finds intuition tells you is there, around the corner. The layers of distant shapes seemed perfect for the seasonal atmosphere. Low country was defined by species and circumstance. So the setup starts, the legs extended on the easel, umbrella attached to ward off the sun creeping over the trees nearby and fresh paint squeezed onto a well-used palette. I'm whistling now. Time for the first marks. Composition established and the magic starts. Ibis fly by to feed in the nearby marsh and look up in the sky as an American bald eagle. The tide is flooding and I'm hoping for water at my ankles. The sun is approaching the best angle as a buck walks up and snorts with a startled note for the animal invading his private sanctum. I'm moving paint into shapes and starting to carve lights in and around. The temperature is just lower than the gnat hatch. The water invades my standing point. I place gear at safer ground. Bait is moving about the flooded grass at the easel legs. Egrets and others are moving to feeding positions and quickly I am standing boot deep in the rich brine of this Atlantic coastal estuary, painting in the still dawn. I pause to acknowledge this privilege and I am thankful. My interest in painting the working waterfront continues, it's all part of, of this documentation of this homeland that I'm working on. And uh, along with that initiative, one that I recently started after the world financial crisis of 2008, I was concerned about some of my artist friends that I wasn't sure would survive. And I was lamenting the fact that there was not an organization that could, that could help sustain artists through bad times. And of course, realizing that I couldn't do anything about it and I couldn't set up a foundation, I decided that maybe one step at a time was better than no steps. And so I took, my, took the initiative to personally create a my private initiative to encourage gift giving, gen generosity, and uh, just um, along to create gift giving and, a, and help encourage a generous spirit in our community. And so what I do is I paint a little picture and I attach a string to it. And I go out and find a small tree, some place to hide it, and I um, sometimes get my son to climb up the tree and we hang it and then we send out a message through social media and our emails and I put a notice on my website that there's a paint a new painting in a tree 
And if someone finds it, there's a message on the back. And it generally says something like, congratulations, you found my gift to you. Only it has a string attached. So if you accept my gift, I ask that you in turn make a gift to your fa favorite charity or to an artist institution or an art museum or to a young artist in need. And it's been great fun. I've gotten fantastic responses from people. Uh, generous gifts have been made to uh, organizations um, from Honduras all the way through to Nova Scotia. I think I've done about nine of these so far and I guess I'll continue to do those for the rest of my life. So if, you're, if you want to find out where the next painting in a tree is, you'll have to go to my website and uh, I'll post it on that or send me your email and we'll let you know. So happy hunting. This painting, Fall Tides, was done on, uh, on Palmetto Bluff, which is property behind Hilton Head and Defusky Island, looking south towards the Savannah River Delta. And it has captured the late fall colors of the marsh, looking through a couple of palmetto trees along the banks of the creek there. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the journey in learning more about my homeland, the Low Country, about my life as an artist, about why I paint, which also relates to why other artists paint. And I hope that you now will be inclined to make observation of your home, of your life, your environment, visit more exhibitions, and be thankful for this great earth that we were given. So I'm going to say goodbye and we'll go back to work.